What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive VGC double battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shine and Pearl. In today's video, we are going to be using everybody's Gen 1 favorite fighting type, Machamp. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button to stay up to date on all of my content. But uh, if you guys want to see certain Pokemon using BDSP, leave them down in the comment section down below. I've been reading the BDSP comments and I've been trying to use Pokemon that you guys want to see. And that's why we're rocking out with Champ. Such a cool Pokemon. And this thing is an absolute beast, especially in Trick Room, which is where we are going to be using him in today's video. But uh, let's get started here with today's team preview. Start off with Machamp right here. We gave it the life orb to make it do as much damage as it possibly can. And then its ability is going to be No Guard. What No Guard actually does, it ensures incoming and outgoing attacks always land. So they cannot miss an attack on us, but we cannot miss an attack on them. And the reason this is so good is because we have a move with 50% accuracy, Dynamic Punch. And what this move does, it's 100% power, but it confuses every single time. So having the No Guard, making this thing always land, we're guaranteeing confusions and guaranteeing big damage, which I absolutely love. We also have Protect to protect this little Pokemon. And then we have two coverage moves with Ice Punch and Fire Punch. Gotta love it. Cannot wait to rock out with this Pokemon and get using them in the BDSP doubles. Second Pokemon on the squad is going to be Bronzong. It's going to be Machamp's best friend. This thing is going to help set up Trick Room and have Machamp just thrive out in that Trick Room. It's got Gyro Ball, Hypnosis, and Protect as its other three moves. It's rocking the Levitate ability. And then the item it is holding is going to be that Mental Herb. So we cannot be taunted. Third Pokemon is going to be Togekiss, another friend of Machamp's over here. It has followed me on it, so you know we can redirect shots and kind of just protect Machamp. That's going to be the name of the game, is setting up Trick Room and just having Machamp sweep out. We got the Scope Lens alongside with Super Luck, and then like I already mentioned, we got Follow Me, Protect, Air Slash, Dazzle Gleam, which is a great moveset for any Super Luck Togekiss. Next Pokemon on the squad is going to be Garchomp over here with Sword Stance, Protect, Dragon Call, and EQ. Obviously, it's rocking Sand Veil, because as you guys seen, we're rocking T-Tar on our team. And then we got Bright Powder as our item to make this evasiveness, or this Pokemon's evasiveness, go a little bit higher in that Sandstorm. So it's got the Sand Veil, also have Bright Powder. A lot of Pokemon will be missing shots on this Garchomp. Next Pokemon on squad is going to be Rotom Wash, a great special attacker for any team. It's Electric and Water type, and it's holding that Citrus Berry to give it a little bit more HP when it falls below half. Obviously, it has Levitate as its ability, and the moveset is going to be Thunderbolt, Hydro Pump, Nasty Pot to set up, and Protect for our fourth and final move. Final Pokemon on squad is going to be T-Tar over here. Like I already mentioned, it's here to pair up with that Garchomp, so we can set the Sand Stream and have Sand Veil proc for that Garchomp. We got Protect, we got Dragon Dance, we got Crunch, we got Rock Slide, we got Sandstorm obviously as your ability, and then last but not least, the item that this thing is holding is Lumberry to protect it from burns and other status conditions. But guys, there's the team preview. Let's hop into the Coliseum and get rocking out with this Machamp team. Battle number one coming at you guys, and we're going up against a really cool team. This guy's Rocket Zapdos, Milo Tick, he also has Cresselia for Trick Room and for Counter and Trick Room, and then he has Titar, Lucario, and Crobat over here. Crobat, I know, has Taunt. I think I still rock Bronze on him a champ, pop that Trick Room and get rolling out from there. It just seems to work really, really well. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put both those in there. I'm going to break Toad Kiss, and then last but not least, I could go Rotom here, but I'm leaning more towards Tyranitar just to counter up on that Cresselia because we do have that Dark move, and it just works well. So I'm going to lock it in. I'm going to lock it down. We're going to look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one but seriously guys huge shout out to everybody who has been loving the bdsp content and watching it really has been doing good on the channel so i'm glad to see you guys been liking it so cannot wait to make more for you guys and use pokemon that you guys want to see that's why we've been rocking out with some really cool pokemon like machamp right here machamp is just so sick and like i said dynamic punch with no guard hopefully we get to showcase it in today's or this battle right here and it does some big old damage it does some big old damage but i really do wonder who he's gonna lead here i am curious i am definitely curious but I do have to watch out for other Pokemon. But I should, probably should have given them a chance to focus, but I don't know. I was always thinking about that, but I just wanted to get him to do as much damage as he possibly can. So we threw him on the Life Orb. We threw his EVs in Attack and HP, and they gave it no speed. So, you gotta love it. Let's see who he ends up leading. Cresselia? Yeah, Cresselia and uh, Zapdos come out here. Oh, that's pretty cool. That ain't too bad. And what's he gonna do? Do we just pop Shrikram and Protect? Could definitely be an option, because, you know, both these Pokemon are rather scary on, on my end. But I could pop Trick Room. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to trick him, and I'm just going to protect this guy. I cannot afford to take a shot. I do have 197 HP, which is gorgeous, but moves cannot miss. We have no goal, so we're going for it. We're just going to protect him with champ, and we're going to try to roll out with trick room. But I wonder what Cresselia is doing. Cresselia can always counteract the trick room. It is definitely a possibility, but the thing with Bronzong is once he sets up trick room, he's kind of just there. He can drop Hypnosis and uh, put Pokemon to sleep. But the problem with that is it's only 60% accuracy. So it either hits or it doesn't. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Cresselia's going to drop a Psychic here, which is huge. And double down to my Machamp, please. 
You go for a Thunderbolt. You should be able to soak that up, Bronzong. Thank you very much. Bronzong with the easy soak. We're going to pop a Trick Room. The Trick Room is now out and about. I could drop an Ice Punch, which I'm really leaning towards. Seeing if we can take out that bird and then trying to put you to sleep. I think my play. Ice Punch can come in hot because we know Dynamic Punch isn't really going to do much. It's not very effective on both. So luckily we have some good coverage moves. Oh, right. He's going to end up detecting the bird. I knew that was coming. Hopefully we can land to sleep. Land to Hypnosis, Bronzong. Of course he missed. She's going to counteract Trick Room again. She is definitely going to counteract Trick Room. Um, what do we do here? No, she's going to drop a Psychic. And of course we miss that. And down goes our Machamp. Oh, we eat. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. Uh, we're going to go for the same thing here. We're going for the same thing. Ice Punch into this uh, into this Hypnosis. Could be pretty solid for us. I'm rolling out with it. I am rolling out with it. Of course we miss our Hypnosis. I, I told you guys. 60% accuracy. Kind of in the dumps. But I wonder if he's going to hard swap the bird. I don't think he, he is going to do it. I mean, if he does, we're going to rely on this hypnosis landing to keep her Machamp alive. But I think we're I think we're sitting pretty solid here. I don't think we're sitting in like a bad spot here. I really do not. Let's just see what our opponent does. Let's see what our opponent does. But yo, look at my boy's back. Machamp swole. Those back muscles? God dang. God dang. That dude just hits lat pull downs for, for weeks on end. Non-stop. 24-7. Just... Ah. Ah, ah, just lap pull downs all day long. Hypnosis is gonna land. It's a beautiful little land. How much damage are we gonna do with this ice punch? I don't think we can KO, but we can do some big old damage on this thing. I mean, that'd be awesome if we can KO, but let's let's check it out. Ice punch gonna fly here. My boy Machamp's doing some big damage. Even freeze. Oh, we got static. That's kinda whack. That's kinda whack. Machamp's gonna take some life orb damage and Joel Peck's gonna fly through here. So he's gonna take out my Machamp. I ain't, I, I, I'm not too worried about that. I'm not too worried about that. I'm kind of cool with that. I don't mind it too much. So he's going to be slumped. And at this point, you know what? Instead of bringing out Tokus, I'm going to bring out you. And I'm going to Gyro Ball to take out the bird. And I am going to D-Dance. Even though Trick Room's out and about, I'm going to D-Dance. Trick Room's going to end soon, so I'd rather just get that attack boost with that speed boost and kind of roll from there. I'm kind of with it. The Sandstorm's going to fly. Like I said, I'm just going to Gyro Ball. This should be able to take out and then just D-Dance up. I'm going to hope that Cresselia is asleep for at least one more turn here. He's going to end up attacking. That's totally fine. That is totally fine. What's Crest going for? Crest, do not wake up. That's all I ask for. Is for you to not wake up. Let's see how this one plays out here. Dragon Dance going to poke out here. I could start uh, teeing off on the Crest now. If I wanted to. Or I could protect the T-Tar this turn. But hopefully Crest is still asleep. We got to hope that that's it. Yeah, it is. Cool. That thing's asleep. I'm cool with that. Bird's going to take some buffet damage, which is huge. And what do we do from here? Another buffet will take him out. Another Buffet will take out. We have one more turn left in Trick Room. So I could just protect this turn. And kind of just go from there. Which I am going to do. Because I think Crest wakes up. I do think Crest wakes up here. So just protecting T-Tar and protecting from like this Ice Punch or whatever he has to offer. Or Ice Beam, whatever he's going to do. Really can help us out. So Gyro Ball's going to come out, come out here. We're going to get rid of the bird. We are going to get rid of the bird. And Static's going to come out here. God dang Bronzong. <laughs> he's already slow enough. Luckily we're not Staticking on our, onto our uh, T-Tar. I think we're thriving fine here. Let's see what he does. Crest is going to wake up here, and it's going to go for an energy ball, which we are going to block. That's big time blocks for us. That is indeed big time blocks for us. So Buffett's going to chip up. Cresselia is a problem. It definitely is a huge problem. Trick Room's going to end. I could pop another one if I wanted to, but I just don't see that. I just don't see that being in play with her T-Tar being in Dragon Dance. He's going to end up going into Lucario, which oof, that Pokemon's scary. That Pokemon is definitely scary. I really want to go for Hypnosis. Okay, I'm going to try to land, and I want to go for a Rock Slide so bad. But I think Crunch is just going to be replied. Because Lucario is going to do some mean damage to me. Hopefully we outspeed it so we can at least get off this Crunch, but I think we're dead here. Crunch is going to come out here. We do outspeed it. How much damage are we going to do? That takes out the Crest. That's big time plays. That's big time plays. So he's going to take out my T-Tar. If we can land his Hypnosis, we could be in a semi-decent spot. Because we knew Close Combat was coming in hot. We knew it was taking us out. This is a solid first battle. It's a really good first battle. His defense is in the dumps. I need my boy to land this hypnosis. This could be a big time hypnosis for, for the squad. Land it. Land it. Let's go, Bronzong. Let's go, baby. Big time sleep coming out onto that Lucario. We love it. We love it so much because it does have steel moves. So he's got to go. He has got to go. So he's going to bring out his final Pokemon. I wonder who it is. It's going to be Crobat. The Crobat's going to fly here. It does have poison moves, which is uh, rather scary. And at this point, do we just double down into him? This is going to be tough. It's going to be tough. Yeah, I think we just go here, and we just gleam across the board. Or I can Air Slash. 
I think I'm gonna go after Crobat. Crobat's scary too. Wow, dude. Crobat is definitely scary. Let's see what he does. Hopefully, as long as he's not protecting the Crobat. As long as he's not protecting the bat. Which he just goes straight up for cross poison, and we should be able to eat that. We do. Beautiful. Beautiful. We get off a nice eat. We're gonna drop a nice little air slash. Give me that crit. Is that a crit? I don't think it was. That hurts the soul. That hurts soul. Of course, I'm paralyzed. Um, what do I do here? Another cross poison takes me out. I think I have to put him to sleep. I think I have to put you to sleep. Or I could do this. That's what exactly I'm going to do. I'm going to pop a trick him. I probably should have done this last turn. I'm going to protect my Togekiss here. Let's see what he does. Is he going for cross poison? He does. Be asleep another turn, Lucario. Please. Please be asleep another turn. Cool. So he popped a room full of tricks. And at this point, do I go for the sleep onto the uh, Crobat? We're playing a dangerous game right here. We're playing a dangerous game. We are playing a dangerous game. I really got to go for the sleep, dude. I'm going to look for the flinch on the Lucario because, you know, this thing's going to be annoying. Go ahead, Bronzong. Put him to sleep. Oh, I love you, Bronzong. I love you, Bronzong. <laughs> Yo, dude, this thing's on today. This hypnosis is on today. He's going to wake up and he outspeeds me. He's going for... You're that slow? You're that slow? Wow, never mind. I thought I thought Tokus would be slower, but that's gonna be match one. We're gonna end up losing it. We gotta hop into our second battle and try to showcase some champ a little bit better. Because you know, it did some big damage, but we were just going up against two Pokemon that could really counter it up, and we weren't able to use dynamic punch with it. Let's grab ourselves our first victory in battle number two. That last battle, our opponent played really, really good. Bronzong was on point with landing those Hypnosis, but he just had a total team to counteract us. He had the Zapdos and Cresselia, which totally counters out my, counteracts my Machamp. Then he had a Lucario in the back end, which counteracted my Tyranitar and my Togekiss. Could not really do anything about it. He just picked a way better team than us, but we're hopping into the second battle, and we're going up against a Jump Bluff team. I'm ready to rock Trick'em again. I'm ready to roll out with the Trick'em squad. Let's lock them in. Let's lock them down, and let's get going here. What else should I bring here? I could bring Togekiss again. I mean, Togekiss isn't too bad. It has a few super effective moves on a few of these Pokemon, so I'm really digging Togekiss. And then I'm leaning towards, like, Garchomp or, like, Rotom. She had a nice big physical attacker or even a special attacker up here. Hmm. What should I do here? Should I go Rotom? I'm leaning towards Rotom. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's get Rotom buzzed here. Let's get him buzzed here. Great special attacker. And he's going to be super effective up against that Azumarill, the Articuno, and, his, and the Heatran. I was going to say, there should be three Pokemon. So I really do like that. I really do like that Pokemon chill in there. I could have went Garchomp too because Garchomp would have been super effective onto the uh, the Heatram, the Latias, and I think that's it. I think that's it. But the problem with him is he has a Latios, which is faster than my Garchomp. Could do some big damage on him. Let's see where opponent ends up leading. Gonna end up leading the Fake Out user alongside with Heatram right here. And at this point, I could double protect just like stop the Fake Out turn and kind of roll from there. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? Because Intimidate's gonna affect us. Do not like this. Do not really like this lead. Not one bit. Um, I could just go straight into like a dynamic punch. Wait to you just to finish you off and just protect you. Because at this point, I think he's gonna fake out my Bronzong, think that I'm protecting. Right? I think he fakes out my Bronzong, goes for a Heat Wave, and think that I'm protecting. And then I can just hit this thing with a dynamic punch, and then protect, potentially pop Trick Room, and go from there. I mean, I'm kind of with this. I'm kind of with this because one Heat Wave will not take us out. One heat wave will not take us out, so I'm kind of with this. As long as he fakes out my bronze on here, let's see what he does. Protects him and poke out here. He's gonna end up going for a fake out. Look at that read. Look at that read. Look at that read. He's gonna go for a heat wave now. Yep, my champ should be able to soak up that heat wave. As long as we're not burned, we should be fine. Here. We should be fine because this dynamic punch is gonna come in hot. Do not burn me. Just leave me alone. Thank you. Dynamic punch can come in here, and this thing's gonna be able to soak all day. I think he's gonna be able to soak that all day due to that uh that berry. But the best part about dynamic punch. Guaranteed confusion. Huge. Huge place for us. Choppleberry, this thing's rocking. What are the odds that things rocking at Choppleberry? Get out of my face. And then from here, you know, let's just protect you. And now let's pop the trick room. Now let's pop the trick room. Let's get trick room out and about. Let's see what he does. Is he going to protect the Heatran? Is he going to swap it? I think he just stays in here and drops Heat Wave. But I'm curious to see what he's going to do here. I am really surprised. He's going to swap the Heatran. Cool. They swap Sea Tram. We are minus one, but if I can pop this Trick Room, I can really like where we're sitting. I do have Ice Punch for that, too. So, Protect can come out here for my Machamp. I think he's going to go for Close Combat into that, right? Let's see. He's going to go for Sucker Punch. 
which is going to fail, which is huge. Because now we pop the Trick Room. That's a solid thing. So now we have Trick Room out and about. I could drop an Ice Punch into that thing. I could Hypnosis that, uh, that, what's it called? This hit on top, which I'm leaning towards. That's exactly what I'm going to do. So not a bad start for us. Make that hard read on the Protect with the Fake Out and the Heat Wave. We get off a Dynamic Punch, which does decent damage. Like I said, we are minus one to that Intimidate. But then we pop the Trick Room and we're, uh, we're going to get Thrive here. We're gonna get Thrive here because this Ice Punch should be able to chip up some mean damage. Might not KO, but chip up some mean damage onto this Dragon Pokemon. Wish we weren't minus one. I really did. Let's see how this one plays. He's definitely thinking hard. He's thinking long and hard because I can bring out Togekiss after this. Togekiss can do some work here. Togekiss can do some work. As long as we get rid of that Heatran. As long as we get rid of that Heatran. And I do have Rotom for that Heatran. Rotom does have Levitate, which is huge. It has Levitate and it, uh,. And what's it called? It's water typing. I'm gonna end up withdrawing the Hitmon top. I'm cool with that. I'm gonna Hypnosis who? I'm gonna be back in the heat train here. It's gonna be back in the heat train. So Hypnosis can come out here. He dodged it. Ice Punch is gonna fly. Send it. Bang. Chip it up some mean damage. Give me the freeze. Give me the freeze. No freeze. Machamp's gonna definitely go down here. Right? You're gonna attack me with a psychic? Yeah. So he's gonna psychic me. And I'm, I'm not mad at that. I'm kinda fine with that. I'm kinda fine with that. Machamp doing some big old damage on both the. Uh, he train entered onto that Latias, which I'm cool with. I'm definitely cool with that. But at this point, I just bring out Rotom. I just bring out this lovely Rotom. I could drop a Hydra Pump. I could try to put the Heat Train to sleep, but Heat Train might just protect. I can just do that. And then I could Gyro Ball, because I think Gyro Ball should be able to pick up the KO onto this line. Right? I don't mind this turn. I don't mind this turn. I don't mind this turn. Like I said, yo, we have our lovely little uh, Tokus in the back, which Tokus can do some work. Tokus can do some work as long as the Heatran is going. So we're going to just try to get rid of this Heatran and then roll out the battle from here. Trickroom's still out. I think the turn's going to go Bronzong, Heatran, Rotom, then Latios, right? And I mean, if Heatran protects, Heatran protects. It's totally fine. Because our Trickroom Pokemon is gone. And it kind of stinks that uh, Machamp was a... Uh, who's going to protect? Heatran's going to protect. I wasn't going to read that, but I think Gyro Ball should be able to do enough damage. Right? I think it should. Let's see. Let's make it happen. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So that works perfectly. I shouldn't have spot it. But yeah, it kind of stinks that Machamp got intimidated. Took away a lot of the damage that he was going to do. But still, yo, he ripped up. Luckily, that thing at Chapelberry hit some mean damage over onto that Latios with that Ice Punch. It was a coverage move. But more importantly, we got the confusion on the Heatran and forced him to swap out. So that's not a bad turn. That is not a bad turn. So from here, he's going to send out his next Pokemon, which if I had to guess, it is going to be the, uh, the Hitmon Top. Right, just for a fake out chance. And then we could just double protect out. Could work well for us. Yeah, him on top's gonna come out here. I could double. I could double protect. I could double protect, but I think I'm just gonna protect and hypnosis him. The trick room ends rather soon. I'm just gonna protect you, and I'm just gonna hypnosis. This. I think he's gonna fake out my road time and go for a heat wave. That's gotta be his play, right? I doubt he's faking out the, the Bronzong anymore, right? Right? Like, Bronzong's not a problem. We already set up the Trick Room. He's kind of just wasting out turns. There's, like, one more turn left in it. He might protect the Heat Train next turn, but we'll see how this one plays. We shall see how this one plays. But, yeah, last turn, I was going to protect the... Or, or I was going to uh, hard read the Protect on the Heat Train and drop a Nasty Plot, but I didn't want to take the risk because if he didn't protect, we could just pick up an easy KO with the Hydra Pump. But he ended up protecting, which is all good. Which is all good. But we got our opponent on the fence here. We have our opponent on the fence here. I'm really not too worried about that heat train with this Rotom on the field. Like, Rotom can just rip up through it. We're going to end up protecting. Please go for the fake out on the Rotom. Did we make the right call? Jeans is just on the board with the fake out reads. We are on the board with the calls today. We're going to go with that. Bronze is going to Hypnosis, and it is going to connect. So that's a big time Hypnosis land. He's probably going to drop a Heat Wave, which I guess I'm cool with. I guess I am cool with him dropping a Heat Wave. Right? It's not going to KO my uh, my Bronze on. My Bronze on should be able to soak it up. We should be able to get buzzing from here. So heat wave's gonna fly, bronze is gonna be able to soak, and at this point, what do we do? Do we double down into he's gonna protect, right? So we just double down into this thing. You're gonna protect all day. You're protecting that heat train all day. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 Good calls, jeans. We are out reading our opponent at this point. Dropping a thunderbolt just to make sure we get off damage. We're not gonna go for that. And he was going for like a sucker punch here. He was looking to get off that sucker punch, so we're gonna be able to drop a gyro ball. Thunderbolt's gonna fly through, and this gets rather bulky. Rather bulky. Not bad damage coming out here. We're back to normal. Now I can throw his Hydra Pump this way. And 
at this point. I could pop another Trick Room. I wonder who he has in the back end. Who could be his final Pokemon? We already took out that Latios. I couldn't tell you his final Pokemon is, but we're just gonna keep chipping up some damage onto him on top. We're gonna drop this Hydro Pump, and we made a great little Protect Read. We made a great little Protect Read. Like I said, we have Togi in the back end. He's gonna end up withdrawing you and showing his final Pokemon. Okay. Final Pokemon's gonna be Jump Bluff. Jump Bluff's gonna come out here, and we have, what's it called? Ready to roll. We have Togekiss to do some work on that. Hydro Pump's gonna connect. Is this KO? It does. Beautiful. Road time coming in hot. Road time coming in hot. So I guess he just wants the fake out chance now. And Tokus could definitely just 1v1 uh, that jump off. So I might just worry about the him on top. Get some work done. We can get some work done. The one Thunderbolt I think takes out the him on top. But I might just double down into it just in case. You know, it is a sleep. But a problem with that jump off is I know it learns like a sleep move. I know it does learn a sleep move. I am gonna double down into this uh this hip on top. Yo, not bad plays from us. We're making some great plays here in battle number two. Some great plays in battle number two. Hopefully we can come out on top and grab ourselves our first win for today's video. So let's see what he does. He's gonna be asleep, so fake out or sucker punch, whatever he's going for, is not gonna come out here. He's gonna go for a sleep powder, and that misses. That's huge plays. That's huge turns for us. That's huge turns for us, because that allows that thunderbolt to get off. We drop the hit on top, gyro balls can slide over, and we're just gonna slowly chip away and finish off this battle. We didn't even have to use Tokus, even though Tokus, I think was it was super effective against three out of his four Pokemon. It was super effective up against his jump bluff with the air move, super effective up against him on top with fairy or air move, and then super effective up on the Latios with our fairy move. But yeah, that's gonna be GG's. Solid little battle for us today. Solid little second battle to make up for that first battle. Even though the first battle was pretty solid. Our opponent cancels the battle, and we go one on one for today's video. Our opponent decided that he wanted to rematch with me, so I'm going to bring you guys rematch in battle number three. We're going up against the same person, same squad. I wonder who he's going to bring. I definitely want to bring my champ again, but this time I'm not going to lead. I'm not going to lead him. I'm actually going to lead the Tokus and the Rotom due to the fact is I think he's going to lead the Hitmon top. He's going to get off that Intimidate and he's going to roll out strong from there. We're going to bring my champ in the back end, and I don't even think we're going to pop Trick Room. I think we just might go in with Garchomp. Who would be better, Garchomp or Pete? I think Garchomp would be a little bit better, especially with two Levitate Pokemon or two Pokemon. I should say one Levitate Pokemon and one Flying Pokemon. But two Pokemon that cannot be affected by EQ. So I'm digging this. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. I know he has a few Pokemon that could do some work on me, but it'd be like that. It'd be like that sometimes. Okay, let's lock it in. Let's see what our opponent's going to do. Because I know him on top's going to come out here. He might also lead the him on top and the jump. Let's jump off with the Sleep Powder. If he actually landed that Sleep Powder on the time, we could have had a little bit of a different game. But I still feel like we were coming out on top. He's gonna end up throwing out him on top and Azumarill. I think could belly jump set up, which is rather scary. I think could belly jump set up. And I'm kind of cool with him just going for the fake out and us just getting after this Azumarill. I think that's gonna be my play. I think we Thunderbolt into Azumarill. And we, we Gleam across. Do we Gleam across the board? Or do we just Air Slash into Azumarill? I mean, he's gonna have to fake out. I'm gonna Air Slash into this thing. I just Thunderbolt on top of it. I'm cool with that. Let's see what he does. He's going to fake me out. Bop right onto my Rotom. That's fine. Air Slash should be able to come out here before it even goes for like a belly jump. They might be looking for a belly jump here. So maybe we get off a flinch. And no. That's a little rough. So this thing is ripping with Aqua Jet. And we might be able to actually eat up an Aqua Jet. I could follow me the shot. We know this thing's ripping with Citrus Berry. We know this thing's ripping with Citrus Berry. But yeah, I should be able to eat up an Aqua Jet. Rotom outspeeds it. So at this point, I'm just going to protect Togi. Instead of going for a follow me, we're going to try to keep it alive and make that hard read. And we're just going to go straight. Because we know it's going for Aqua Jet, right? We know it's going for Aqua Jet. We know 100% it's going for Aqua Jet. Togi's going to protect. Aqua Jet should come across onto the Togi's board. Right? Show it to me. No, he protects. What a play. What a smart little play. What a smart little play. So now I got to follow me the shot. Thunderbolt's going to come out here, get blocked, and he ends up protecting. And who is who my top going after? Probably my root time. Close combat, yeah, no Rotom. Smart little play. We're gonna pop a Citrus Berry, but that's enough for Aqua Jet to actually take us out. That is enough for Aqua Jet to take us out. Okay. So at this point, he's gotta decide. He's gotta decide. Maybe we can get a crit here with a Gleam, but I am gonna drop the Gleam. I'm gonna Gleam and look for the crit. Gleam across the board, and I could just Thunderbolt into this thing. I don't care if Rotom goes down here. We have to get rid of this Azumarill. This Azumarill is a problem. It's a problem. It is a big time problem. If we don't get rid of him right here, right now, all my other Pokemon are just going to get dumped on by him. Let's see. I know I had Sucker Punch, but Sucker Punch shouldn't be able to take me out. Sucker Punch should not be able to take out my Rotom. 
which I think he's going to do. I think he's going to go for the Aqua Jet and the Sucker Punch and look for the Double KO. But again, I just don't think Sucker Punch has got it in him. I don't think he has it in him with Sucker Punch. Let's see it. Aqua Jet's going to come through here. He take it out. Go for Tokus. And that's what I want to read last turn. That's what I want to read last turn. Let's see what him on top's going into. He's not going into Sucker Punch. So we're going to be able to Thunderbolt and we're going to go, uh, we're going to take that out. Okay, right, so that's not a bad turn for us. We have my champ in the back end, which is a little, a little scary. A little scary. This thing's going to close combat with his defense strong. So his defense is down in the dumps. If we can get a nice shot off on this thing, we can't take it out. But with champ, us bringing him a champ in here with nothing to go off of, it's a little rough. It's definitely a little rough. But we do have Guard Chomp Raider Wolf. We have Guard Chomp Raider Wolf. So let's see who he goes into. Let's see who he goes into. You know the Psychic can do me dirty. The Psychic could definitely do me dirty. If he brings out the Latios. Which he, he's got to have the Latios, right? He has got to have the Latios. Which could be scary. Latios is definitely a scary little Pokemon. But yeah, dude. That Belly Jump Azumarill would have countered up or tricked him instantly. But if he didn't make that Protect read, we could have been thriving. We could have been thriving if he didn't have a Protect. But I knew he wanted to go for the Aqua Jet into the Tokus. I knew he wanted to do that. Let's see what this guy ends up throwing out here. Maybe we can have a close battle. We can have a close battle because him on top's gonna go down in one shot. But Champ's gonna get flying out here. Solid little Pokemon. And we're gonna throw out Garchomp here as well. As long as he doesn't throw out Latios, I think we're chilling. Or even Articuno could be scary. He trans can come out here. Okay. We know he's rocking the Chopple Berry with him. At this point, I could shot pop an EQ. And protect. Protect is sounding really good because again, he has a Chopple Berry, he doesn't have the Shuka Berry. That's good that we know that. He's gonna end up withdrawing him on top. He's gonna go for it here. He's throw out his final mom. Please don't be Latios. Son of a biscuit. And he protects Heatran. So, what a play by him! What a play! What a play. So, we were making some good calls in the last battle. This guy makes some great calls in this battle. I think he's gonna actually take the cake here. Let's my Garchomp out speeds. Let's my Garchomp out speeds. That's my guard chomp out speed. Solid little turn from him. We're gonna end up going for here. I'm not gonna go for double protect because I never landed before this. Uh, I think I'm just gonna go for chop berry and confuse him. Well, not the chop berry, the uh, dynamic punch for the confusion. But we're hoping guard chomp can, can outspeed and just pick up KO. But again, Latios is just faster, right? Unless his EVs aren't maxed out like we are. We're maxed on speed. I think this is a jolly uh, guard chomp. It's a nice little jolly guard chomp. Ready to do some damage. But we'll see. Maybe he'll protect Lyos. I don't know. I do not know. He's gonna end up withdrawing Heatran. So Heatran's gonna get the withdrawal. That's a great call by him. He's gonna end up intimidating me, and this battle is not looking good for us. This battle's not looking good for us. Let's see. Does he outspeed me? Intimidate coming out here. That that probably helps him soak up some shots, too. It hurts his soul. It hurts his soul. He's gonna end up going first, and he's gonna protect. Okay, so Dynamic Punch can come out here, and we're gonna confuse this Pokemon. We are going to confuse this Pokemon, which is pretty solid for us. So we are going to confuse this Pokemon. Bang, bang, bang. That's some big time damage. And the confusion on top of that. Um, we could double protect here, which probably might play, right? Would we double protect? Or do we just get after this lot of and say that that thing's hitting itself? In that could be huge. I say we do that. That's like our one our one chance out of here is getting rid of this lot of here. Hit yourself in confusion. Come on. No fake out. Let's go. Let's go. That's big time plays. That's big time plays for us. What's he gonna go for? He's gonna go for a Draco Meter. And who are you taking out? You're gonna take out my Garchomp. Garchomp's gone. It's in the dumps. Um. Hmm. Dang. Imagine if I would have protected the Garchomp. That could have been a good turn here. That could have been a good turn because Garchomp would have been the Pokemon that just uh to win the battle. Garchomp would have been that Pokemon. He's gonna show that he's orbed. How much damage are we gonna do with this Ice Punch? We are intimidated, which is tough. But I don't think we KO, but still we do a huge chunk of damage. Dude, we're chipping up some mean damage. But we need that Garchomp, because, dude, if Garchomp was the last Pokemon left, we could have been thriving. We could have been thriving. But I'm going to Ice Punch here again. We're going to rely on that Confusion to do a bit more work. And get after it that way. He's going to withdraw him on top. So he's just going to play it slow. He's going to play it smart. He might end up protecting the Latios again. And just intimidating and swapping back in here. Yeah. Yeah, he's just going to play a slow game for the victory. So that is going to be GG's. Machamp doing some work today. Definitely want to get him in better battles where he wasn't intimidated. But still, I feel like he thrived out here. He got off some big damage and we got to show him off pretty well. But uh, did we go for the dynamic punch? No, we're just going to ice punch him. We know he's going to swap the heat train yet again. No, he doesn't. He just goes straight for psychic. That should take me out. I don't know why he just didn't do that in the first place. Oh, we eat. That's why. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. That's lovely. 
that is lovely, but Earth Power does ultimately come in here and pick up the KO. So Machamp, driving out strong. We go one and two, and we get to show off him pretty, pretty well. My boy Machamp getting some work done in BDSP. I absolutely love him, and I think Dynamic Punch is one of the strongest moves in the game. With that no card, it's a guaranteed confusion. So every time you hit somebody with a 100 base power move, it's guaranteed confusion. Granted, the accuracy is lower, but its ability, no guard, really allows them to thrive and use that move to its fullest potential. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.